Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Logical Expressions in ComSol Multiphysics and this is the second video of the series. In the first video, we discussed about the need of logical expressions whenever you are working with a real life problem. And we discussed that fact with an example of a rectangular block through which heat conduction was taking place. We took a boundary condition at the left hand side and other three walls are kept at a Dirichlet constant temperature and in the left hand side we actually took a logical expression and today we will be talking about more logical expression but before I start today's video just I would like to recapitulate the previous video so, uh, so the new viewers can get to the point. So we took one domain probe and the domain probe was used to define the T average temperature. Now T average was being calculated from a function AVEOP1 and that is taken as an average. So those things you get in the definition option. If you right click there you will get those options in the different nodes like in the non-local coupling, you get this average option. So I took this average option and with the domain probe, I defined the T average. So we are basically calculating T average at this central box and we are putting logical expression. So if this T average is say some, some value, say 200 degrees Celsius, then uh, the boundary condition at the inlet may be 400 degrees Celsius. If not, then go for another boundary condition, say 500 degrees Celsius. So this kind of logical expressions I showed in the previous video. But we actually showed a particular logical, logical expression in the previous video. But today I'll be showing all the logical expressions, all the logical symbols which are possible to use in ComSol multiphysics. So I go to that particular boundary condition. So now it is kept as T average, but let us initially show how to use if else. So we can put this if else statement like this. If within a parenthesis, we have to write the logic. So say I write if T average is greater than say 200, then put it 400 otherwise put the temperature 500 so this is a logical expression so if you run the simulation then you'll understand whether it's working or not working so i have just clicked on the compute and you can see the simulation is running that means this logical expression is being tried now we go for another logic so it is greater than you can put less than the symbol is the opposite symbol but uh, I, this is this is very trivial and I am not uh, simulating this particular one rather I will uh, tell you about other logical expressions suppose I define some other logic which is say t average equal double equal that means if t average say is exactly equal to 200 then use 400 otherwise in all the cases use 500 so i am defining a discrete point suppose this kind of condition sometimes you may have to define suppose in the simulation you have a point of discontinuity and at that particular point you want to put certain value which will not lead to a non-convergence of the solution that means during numerical simulation, if there is any discontinuity at any point in the solution space, there might be a probability of getting a non-convergence. So in those cases, you can logically or actually can overcome those issues logically by putting this kind of function. So this is the usage of double equal. I am just trying to, I am just showing you how to write it and I am explaining with an example. Then you may need, you may want to write this double equal is meaning equal to and similarly you may want to write not equal to so there is an expression for not equal to as well 
So for writing not equal to, you have to give an exclamatory sign and then equal. It, it actually defines not equal to. So here the condition becomes if t average not equal to 200, then put 400. Otherwise, put 500. That means it will, it will basically calculate the t average in this box and it will it will check whether this average value is not equal to 200. If it is not equal to 200, that means say the average is coming 180, 230 or whatsoever. If it is not exactly 200, then at the left hand, the boundary condition would be 400 degree Kelvin. If it is 200, that means it is then the control goes to the other point. So if it is 200, then it will come here. I mean, this boundary condition would be 500. So this would also run just, I just click on compute. Yeah, it's running. That means this logical expression is perfect. Now there might be more than one logic and for that you can, uh, you can add those logic. Suppose I have to write two logic say, if it is not equal to 200 and at the same time, if T average is greater than 300, then put this, I mean, if both the conditions satisfy, then put 400. If any one of them does not satisfy, then take 500. So this is another logic expression. So let me run this. Yeah, it's working. Now, so double ampersand, it indicates another logic. So if we write double ampersand, that means it has to satisfy both the conditions. Then only the control will go to the first value. Otherwise, the control will go to the second value. That means if both the conditions satisfy, then the control will come to 400, otherwise it will go to 500. Now, instead of AND AND, you can use OR. So, OR means if any one of these two conditions satisfy, then the control will come to the first value. If not, it will go to the second value. So, if we want to do that, then instead of ampersand, you have to write to double slash and then you have to compute if it is working fine then will not get any error yeah it is working so i talked about several logical expressions which we generally use in coding so all i mean any kind of coding whether it's matlab python or whatsoever a similar logical expressions are also available in comsol you can actually use them to make your expressions logical. Sometimes you may need it during uh, running of your modeling, your simulations. Uh, I guess I have covered all the logical expressions. If anything is missing, I will I will make another video on this particular topic. So today I'm stopping here. If you are liking my videos, then please do subscribe so that I get more motivation to upload videos. Thank you.